you just can't afford to be doing that. No. So the business is broke. I'm broke. I'm broke on sympathy. I'm broke on materials. I'm just broke for that type of situation. <laughs> Welcome back, art lovers. I am Mercedes with Art by Shades, where we talk about self-love, body image, and how we actually address starting your business as an artist. Y'all, I'm going to get out of this corner of despair eventually, but I need to find the perfect backdrop, and it's been hard. So let me know if you guys have any comments on a good backdrop. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why I stopped gifting my art. First, I wanna go into why I even gifted my art. And I think I'm one of those people where I want to give somebody something meaningful. I want to give them something that you could tell I made an effort in giving this gift. Now, you know, I just give out gift cards. You can go and buy whatever you want to buy. I know people say that's impersonal, but I gift the opportunity to get whatever you truly wanted. So I think that's better than giving somebody something that they don't want, nor do they even need. So back on topic, I would actually give my art as something personal, something that reminded the person that this person took time out of their day to go and create something specifically for me, not something for sale, not just, you know, just something that I know is unique, uniquely mine. I swear YouTube is one of those places where once you start creating your videos, you realize you don't know how to talk. I hate this. What I quickly realized is that when you give people stuff, they don't appreciate it. They, a gift is something that they feel like, you know, sometimes they're entitled to it. I have a birthday. I deserve a birthday gift or a Christmas gift or whatever type of gift. So when you're giving somebody something that has a personal aspect to it, it's hard for them to actually say, you know what, I feel like this person gave me something that has more value than I actually put to it. So the first thing I want to talk about is the value, the value that it places on your work. Like I said, some people actually feel that they're entitled to getting your work. This doesn't actually have to be for a special occasion. They just think to themselves, I have a space on my wall. You should create something for me for free because we're family or we're friends or we're good or whatnot. Like negating the fact that you actually are running a business. If they feel like they should get it free, what's for a customer to actually purchase your work? If they don't actually place a value on the work that you create, how would a customer do the same? So when you charge for your work, then you charge for the time that you put into it, the materials that you put into it, the thought process, everything that made that one body of work. So your people will be like, let's discount all of that. I deserve to get it for free. That doesn't really make sense to me because that volunteer work is not something that you can put on your taxes or some type of monetary value you kind of, you can write it off eventually, but realistically, there's not much value. Whereas you can give it to somebody for free where you could have made a couple hundred dollars off of that original piece. And let's say that all of that aside, you decided, okay, I'm going to create this work for them. There's no way that you can even make residual money off of it because usually they won't promote it. They won't put it on their social media, continue to promote that stuff. They won't tell their friends or other family members that, hey, this person created this. You should go and purchase something from them. No, they just say, hey, look what this person made for me. Let me leave it on my wall and never promote it again. So you don't even get residual income from that piece that you created. So overall, sentiment is hurting your business. And I don't think that that's something as a business owner that you would think is feasible. Overall, it hurts your bottom line. The second thing is, even if you decided you wanted to give them something for free, these people rarely support your business. Now, 
support can look like a lot of things for different people. Support can be somebody posting on social media, somebody engaging with your work. Support can look like a lot of things, even up to purchasing your work. But oftentimes, They'll say, hey, I saw your work online. That was great, but then they wouldn't like it. They wouldn't share it with their friends. They wouldn't actually promote you in any way, but then still feel like, hey, you should give me something because I asked for it. Negating the fact that you run in a business. I mean, duh. And let's be honest, when you start off as an artist, your sales may not be consistent. So you can afford to be giving out your stock or the different paintings that you created and not actually having anything to bring in income. You just can't afford to be doing that, no. So the business is broke, I'm broke, I'm broke on sympathy, I'm broke on materials, I'm just broke for that type of situation. Like and comment below if you agree, or do you actually give out your work for free? Do you actually plan in your business to do so? If you don't, What's the alternative? Do you just tell them no all the time? Do you just not answer the phone? What do you do? If you like my content, feel free to subscribe for more content like this.